Welcome to Wakameko Public Library Cozy Crafting. My name is Anna Fenery. We're going to make a beautiful 3D butterfly today. The butterfly craft is very simple to make and anybody can make it at home. Butterfly will look beautiful as a decoration for summer and spring. Here are the supplies that we need. We will need construction paper. Any colors you have at home will do. Uh, just you need a couple sheets. Uh, we will need a pipe cleaner. I actually have half of it because we only need half. We need a marker, scissors, glue, pencil, and ruler can come in handy when we're drawing uh, different shapes, but it's not necessary. Also, this is optional. This is my old tape. I'm going to use it to make circles. And of course, a handy tape, very necessary. Let's get started. I chose orange and yellow for my butterfly, but you can use any colors you like. And I drew a butterfly on it. Actually, you can print it online as well. They have many templates for your butterflies. You could print it directly on your colored paper. But if you just want to draw it, I wanted to show you a quick tip. You can look at the butterfly as butterfly wings as a larger heart and a smaller heart. So this is how you can get your idea for drawing butterfly wings. So I drew my butterflies. I drew one smaller, one bigger, because as you, as you can see in my craft, butterfly has multiple wings. So this is going to be pretty cool, right? All right, so now we're going to cut out this wings. Do it quickly here. Take your time at home, but if you make any mistakes, that's okay. And you can always correct your mistakes. That's how we learn. Or you can redo the whole thing over, restart, start fresh. Don't worry, okay? Also, I just wanted to let you know a quick fact about butterfly wings. That they're actually transparent so all the light goes right through the butterfly wings and you know how fast butterflies can fly they can fly 5 to 12 miles per hour isn't that amazing I never knew that okay one more butterfly and I just wanted to tell you while I'm cutting the butterfly, uh, all the steps involved in making the butterfly. We're only going to have five steps, so it's really easy to make. We're going to make the wings first. Then we're going to make a body for the butterfly, antenna, and we're going to Decorate the butterfly and then make it look like it's a 3D craft. So cool. I love butterflies. They are so interesting. Okay, I'm almost done with this. All right, I have two beautiful sets of wings for my butterfly because I'm going to put the orange one in the front and the yellow in the background. Like that. Okay, let's move on to the next part of butterfly. We will need a marker or a pencil and anything you can find at home that you can trace to make little circles to, for your butterfly. And also if you have a ruler, this can come in handy in this project. But it's not necessary. What we want to do is we want to draw different sizes, circles on the paper. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I used. And we also need four strips of paper for the body of the butterfly. We're going to roll these strips into tubes to make the body, just like here in the, in the picture. All right, so this, I'm going to show you a little quickly how I drew circles by just using tape holder. I 
took a pencil and I traced the inside of the tape holder. So I'm going to a little circle there. And then I took the same tape holder and look, I traced it on the outside to make big circles. But you can use anything you have at home to trace circles. Maybe you have a glue stick, so you can use that. Bottle cups, game chips, whatever it is there. Salt and pepper shaker. Perfect, right? Everybody has that. When you are drawing your, sh your sh uh, little strips of paper, you can use a ruler and a pencil. I made these strips about four inches, but whatever size you make them, they're going to be fine. So uh, first I drew a rectangle and then I actually used the ruler to make those strips even. So I traced the ruler on the paper and then traced it with a marker for easier cutting. All right, so now we will be cutting our strips of paper for the butterfly body. And I think that part you're going to be experts in and you can do it yourselves. So I'm going to skip to our next part because I already secretly cut out some strips of papers right here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what we're going to do next. Now that we have our beautiful body of our butterfly, we are going to make uh, little tubes. And what I do is I take a little piece of tape that I roll the strip like the paper like this into a little tube. I take a little piece of paper and I tape it on the inside. Voila! But guys, don't worry. You can use glue for that part. You can just glue it right here. Or you can use a stapler if you have stapler at home. Just staple this part. You can do all kinds of things you like. And now I'm going to make four tubes like that for the body of the butterfly. It's so cool. I hope you like the colors. Can't wait to see what kind of colors you guys are going to use in your craft. Okay, almost there. It's a very delicate project, you know? requires a little patience. You have to use your little fingers and roll the paper and squeeze the tape inside. If you're using a tape like I do. All right, so now we have four little tubes and we're going to glue these tubes just like that onto our butterfly to make the body. But the one trick I want to tell you is I'm going to use tape because it's just faster for me to tape it but of course you again you can just use the glue put a little bit of glue here on each tube and glue it down and maybe hold it for a moment just so that the glue can set okay um well I'm going to use tape but before I make this body I actually forgot and it's okay it's okay if we forget and we have to go back a step. I actually forgot that I need to make my antenna for my butterfly. And you know, butterflies can smell with their antennas, so they are very, very important. So what I have is half of a pipe cleaner. See, I already cut it in half beforehand. So now I'm only going to fold it in half again to make like a little V-shape. And then I curl the ends of the antenna like this. So cute, little butterfly. And then we can tape this antenna right onto the top of our wings. And why am I taping this antenna first? Because then the head of the butterfly is going to go right over the antenna. So that's my next step. That's why I was telling you I made this mistake and I forgot to tape my, to make my antenna. But now we're back on track. So here's our head at the top and the next tube go 
goes behind it. And the next part. And I have to tell you a little, a little secret. Butterfly body does not have four parts. It has three parts. But you're going to have read, to read some books and learn a little bit more about butterflies. And I'll share some book ideas with you later. Okay, so now, oh, I'm so happy. My butterfly is really looking, starting to look good. So I have my wings and the body. And now for the 3D effect, I want to attach these two different colored wings together. So again, you can use glue. Just put a little bit of glue right here in the middle. You don't want to go over the wings because you want the wings to be flapping like this, okay? So you can use glue or I'm going to use tape again. So it's up to you. What do you like to do? Obviously, you can see that I really like tape. It's really pra for practical purposes because it makes the craft faster so I can show you quicker how to make it. Okay, so once you have your glue set in the middle of the wing, on the bottom part, you can put the top wings over it. Just press it down again. Maybe hold it for a little bit to let the glue set in. And we have our beautiful butterfly. Well, now we're going to decorate our wings. And you know what? I think the butterfly needs some maybe eyes maybe a little smile let's do that okay so as you remember from before i showed you that we drew some circles and so now you could cut out these circles or you could cut out the circles earlier and you know me i already have the circles all cut out right so just make them all kinds of different colors to make the butterfly beautiful now i'm going to use glue just like you guys okay I'm going to put some glue on each circle and make the wing, decorate the wings beautifully like this. All right. And you know, butterflies use the wings to warm up in the sun because they are cold blooded. So they need, when they are tired or they need more energy or warm up their body, that's why they sit like this still in the sun because they absorb the energy from the sun to warm up. All right, we're almost done here. I have some cool circles, love colors. I love all kinds of colors on my crafts. Here we go. Wow. In here, maybe a little bit of yellow on the blue and green on orange. Okay. I think I have all my circles now on the wings. Let's see. Looking good. Wow. Okay. Let's finish the face. You can use either googly eyes for the eyes on, of your butterfly like this. You would put a piece of glue and put your googly eyes like right here and wait for the glue to set, just like in my butterfly picture here. But you know what? If you don't have any googly eyes, you just use a marker and you're going to make little eyes for your butterfly. And don't forget a beautiful smile. You want your butterfly to be smiling, no? All right. So here's our 3D butterfly. Now, to make it even cooler, I'm going to reach for one more piece of paper for myself. Okay. If you want to, you can attach your butterfly just like I did with mine to this piece of paper for a background. Again, just use glue. Go over the middle of your butterfly, glue it to your paper, and then roll the wings a little bit up to achieve the 3D um, effect. If your grown-ups are okay with it, you can always ask permission. Maybe you can add a little glue, I'm sorry, glitter, 
silly me. We already used a lot of glow, a little bit of glitter to make the butterfly even beautiful, more beautiful. But if you don't want your butterfly to be sitting on the background like this, you could also attach a piece of string to your butterfly. Maybe in the back of it, in a little piece of tape. You know, I love the tape. You just would tape it to the back of your butterfly. And now you could hang it somewhere. And this beautiful butterfly is going to flap the wings like this. Thank you for watching my craft. But before we go, I just wanted to make sure that if you want to learn a little bit more about butterflies, you stop by at our library and check out some great books about butterflies. We have butterflies for kids. We have monarch butterflies. We have so many cool books. I hope to see you there. Bye.